Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for being here, Mr. Secretary. You know, a company doesn't need to be a bank to pose a serious threat to the financial system and to the economy. AIG, Lehman Brothers, Bear Stearns, we learned that lesson the hard way during the financial crisis. And that's why Dodd-Frank gives the Financial Stability Oversight Council the authority to designate non-banks as systemically important and subject them to extra scrutiny by the Federal Reserve. Now, the whole point of the FSOC designation process is to make the financial system safer. And one way it does that is by imposing higher capital standards and greater oversight on systemically important companies. But the other way it can make the system safer is by providing an incentive for designated companies to change their structure or their operations so they can reduce the risks that they pose and change their designation and the amount of oversight that they require. In many ways, the second outcome is even more desirable than the first because it would allow businesses to find the most efficient way of reducing the risks that they pose to the economy. Secretary Liu, do you think the FSOC designation process currently provides companies with the information and the opportunities they need to make changes in their business activities and potentially reverse the designation as systemically important? Senator, I, I, I do. I, I think if you look at the designation process, it, 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 there's a huge amount of information that goes back and forth between the companies and FSOC, and then there's several hundred pages of analysis which shows where the risk transmission is and, and what, it's, what it's related to. For most of these firms, uh, let's leave the market utilities to the side. They're kind of a special case. Uh, but for, for the, the, the complex financial firms, that are, are, have been subject to designation, um, they have inherently complex business structures. So it's not necessarily an easy thing to unpack what it would take for them to become de to delist. Uh, to, but but they, know, they know what it is that creates the basis for the designation. Good. And, and, they, 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 every, and every year they're reviewed. So it's not like you, you're designated and we never look again. It's an annual review. Well, let me just ask then about how collaborative the process is. Can companies meet periodically with FSOC staff? Can they appear before the full council to discuss possible approaches to deleveraging their risk? Well, the, 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 it, to date, the appearances before the council have been an appeal stage after the designation was initially um, uh, put uh, before the, the, the council. So it, it's, not, it, it, it was, it's not an ongoing contact. There is ongoing contact between the firms and the FSOC staff, which I think is appropriate. All right. And, and I just want to be clear on this because I want to make sure we're, nobody has any doubts about how this works. Is FSOC willing to reverse the designation of a company if it finds that the company no longer poses systemic risk? That's what the annual review process is all about. It's every year you have to make the so, determination. So use again. the magic word here. Yes? Yes. 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 Good. <laughs> Good. I know that Dodd Frank also permits FSOC to designate specific activities that companies engage in rather than specific companies as posing significant risks. Is FSOC open to the possibility of reversing designation of a company as high risk and instead designating only certain activities within the company that the company engages in as risky? Well, I'm going to have to say that I'm, uh, I'm not sure I understand what the process that you're describing uh, is. I mean, we designate, the, the designation authority applies to the firm. Um, when we're doing an uh, activity well, review. What I'm, let me just make sure we're on the same wavelength on the question. Dodd-Frank also permits not just the designation of a whole firm, but not designating the firm and focusing on a specific portion, a specific activity right. that the firm engages in. So in our review, for, for example, of asset managers, we put out a, a public uh, notice uh, where we asked for comment on our inquiry into an activity review of those firms. Um, we've not yet completed that, so I don't, I, I don't know what form an action would take if there were any action required. Um, I, I'm also not sure it would be FSOC as opposed to regulatory agency action that would flow from that. So I think it's hard to answer the question in a simple yes or no way. We've gone through the designation process for firms. 
uh, we've we've never designated an activity uh, that I, that I'm familiar with. All right, I, I, it's simply a reminder. Yeah, Dodd Frank gives you yeah. a lot of flexibility in these circumstances, and if you need it, I just want to be sure that you're there to use it when appropriate. And we we think it's very pro we we think it's very necessary to be looking at activities, which is why we've opened up in the asset manager area the activity review. Because, frankly, starting by looking at firms, it seemed like we might miss where the real risk was if we didn't look at the activities. Yeah. So uh, the FSOC designation process is critically important to ensuring the safety of our financial system and guarding against another crisis. I think it is important to recognize that designation can achieve that outcome by encouraging companies to change their structure or the operations. I'm glad FSOC is committed to working with companies to make sure that they can accomplish that alternative result. Thank you, Mr. Secretary.